Here we have a city math problem. Okay, let's go to the question. A right square plummet has a total surface area of uh, 19,200 square inches and the combined surface area of uh, the four lateral faces of the plummet is 9,984 square inches. What is the height of this plummet in inches? Okay, first let me draw a right square plummet. Here we have uh, a square plummet. Okay, so here the base of the plummet is, is a square because according to the instruction we have over here, the base uh, must be square and we have uh, four lateral faces. That is a uh, four triangular faces uh, we have for this plummet. Uh, the total surface area is given uh, for the plummet. That is 19,200. Total surface area means uh, so the areas of all uh, four triangular faces and then uh, the area of the base, the square base, that is equal to 19,200. And also we have the combined surface area of the four lateral faces that is four triangular faces uh, we have the uh, some of the areas that is 9,184 okay if I subtract the combined surface area of uh, the four lateral faces 19,184 from the total surface area of the plummet 19,200 I'll be getting uh, the area of the square base over here okay let me write this stuff uh, so area of the square base let me write it over here so to get the area of the square base, we have to subtract uh, this value that is a uh, sum of the uh, areas of the four lateral faces from the to uh, total surface area of the plummet that is uh, 19,200 negative 9,984. So when I do uh, this subtraction, I am getting uh, 9,200. 16. Actually, this is the area of the square base. Okay, let me assume A as the length of each side of the square base. Then now uh, what is the area of the square base in terms of A? For that, we have to multiply the side by side. That is A times A. That is uh, A square. So A square represents uh, uh, the area of the square base. So A square equals to 9216. Okay, now to get the length of each side of the square base, we have to get rid of this exponent 2. For that, we have to take a square root on both sides. When you take square root on both sides, the square root and square will cancel out. I'm getting A on the left side. On the right side, when you take square root of 9216, I'm getting uh, 96. So that is the length of each side of the square base over here is uh, 96. Let me write this stuff over here, 96. And here, uh, 96. And we know that uh, this is a center point of the square over here and the distance from the center point of the square uh, to any side of the square is half of the length of the side of the square. So the length of uh, this line segment is half of the uh, this 96 which is a length of each side of the square. So half of 96 is of 48. So here uh, the length of this line segment is 48. And also let me give uh, some name for uh, the vertices here we have A, here we have B, here we have C. Now let's consider the right triangle ABC over here. In this right triangle ABC, this AB, this line segment represents the height of the plummet. That's what we have to find. So now our, our aim is to find the length of this line segment AB, which is being as height of the plummet. So we know that in this right triangle, we know the length of this leg, that is BC, and this AC is being as hypotenuse at this right triangle. Once I get the length of this AC, I can use Pythagorean theorem and find the length of AB. So how do you have to get the length of this AC? Actually, this AC is a slant height of the plummet. Otherwise, it can also be said as this is the height of this uh, triangular phase over here, the lateral phase. Okay, we know that uh, the base of this uh, triangular phase is 96 and uh, we need the height of this uh, triangular phase. Okay, let me assume uh, X as the length of this uh, AC, that is X is the height of this triangular phase. And also we know the combined surface area of the four lateral faces, that is four triangular faces of the plummet, that is 9,984. To get the area for one triangular face, what we have to do is we have to divide uh, this combined area by four. Let me do it 9,984 by four. So that gives me 2,496. So this is the area for this one uh, triangular phase. Usually to get the area of a triangle, what we do is uh, we use a regular formula that is uh, one half times uh, base times height. So this gives uh, the area of a triangle. Let me assume this is the uh, area of a triangle we have over here, the triangle phase. So this is equal to this value, 2496. Just now we got it, uh, that is uh, the area of one triangular phase is 2496. One half times, and we know the base of this triangle that is 96. We can plug in 96 for B over here, and uh, so we know the height that is X. We have assumed X as height of the triangle that is X equals to 2496. 
2 goes into 2 1 times and 2 goes into 96 or so 48 times. So when I multiply 1 uh, 48 and x, I'm getting 48 x on the left side. On the right side, we get 2496. Okay, now to solve for x, what I have to do is I have to divide the both sides by 48. Let me do it. When I divide the both sides by 48, this 48, 48 will cancel. I'm getting x equals to uh, when I divide this 2496 by 48, I am getting 52. Okay, now I've got the height of the triangular phase over here. Uh, that is uh, 52. Let me write it over here. So this is a slant height of the pyramid as well. Okay, now let me consider uh, the right triangle over here. That is A, B, C. As I said earlier, A, B is the height of the pyramid. We need uh, the length of A, B, which represents height of the pyramid. Okay, in this right triangle, A, B, C, we know the length of the leg B, C, that is 48. And also we know the hypotenuse. Uh, hypotenuse means because it's opposite to right angle over here. So 52. Okay, now let's use Pythagorean theorem in this right triangle, A, B, C over here. So according to Pythagorean theorem, we have uh, A, B square positive uh, bc square which is equal to uh, ac square that is uh, the sum of the squares of two legs uh, equals to the square of the hypotenuse okay so for ab i do not know the length let me assume h uh, is the length of ab that is h is the uh, height of the pyramid so we can plug in h for ab then we get h square and uh, we know the length of bc that is uh, 48 we can plug in 48 for this one 48 square and for ac just now we got the length that is 52 52 square okay then we get h square uh, positive when a square this is of 48 i am getting uh, 2304 and when a square this is uh, 52 i am getting 2704 okay now to solve for h square what i have to do is i have to subtract 2304 from both sides okay let me do it over here h square positive 2304 equals to 2704 okay now let me subtract 2304 from both sides uh, just a moment let me do it so when I do so, this positive value and negative value will cancel. Then I'm getting h square equals to. So when I subtract 2,304 from 2,704, I am getting 400. Okay, our aim is to find the value of h. Uh, for that, we have to get of this uh, square, the exponent two. Let me take square root on both sides to get of this exponent two. So here on the left side, this square root and two will cancel out. Then we get h on the left side. On the right side, square root of 400 is uh, just 20. Okay, now I got the value of h that is uh, 20. I mean uh, 20 inches because uh, the other measurements are given in inches. So then the value we get for h has to be taken inches. So here h represents the height of the pyramid. So the height of the pyramid is uh, 20 inches.